This contribution describes the experience attained during the school year 2021-22 in the framework of mandatory work-related learning activities for secondary school students in Italy. Teenagers from 15 to 18 years old were engaged into acting as ambassadors of raw materials-related topics in primary and middle schools with the use of Better Geo, a modification of the popular video game Minecraft. The combination of students' skills with the experience of teachers and researchers helped to bridge the generation gap that often separates adults from the world of gaming which instead attracts and fascinates children and teenagers. Nowadays, societies are increasingly reliant on raw materials, specifically minerals and metals, due to population growth and the need for new technologies. The European Union is committed to the development and sustainable use of raw materials through the European Green Deal Action Plan that aims to boost the efficient use of resources by moving to a clean, circular economy, restoring biodiversity, cutting pollution, fighting climate change, and encouraging citizens to work towards a greener and more sustainable Europe. Raw materials are all the natural resources that are neither food nor energy, so, as you can imagine, they are very numerous. The distribution of raw materials across the world is well represented in this map created by the Geological Survey of Sweden, in which the size of the pie charts is proportional to the production of raw materials in each country, and the figure in each slice indicates the global market share of the country for that specific material. It is immediately clear how the People's Republic of China is the main producer of metals in the world. Acceleration of technological innovation, the increase in global population and the quick growth of emerging economies are leading to a growing demand for a high number of raw materials. Europe is strongly dependent on the importation of raw materials in order to ensure the global competitiveness of its manufacturing industries and to accelerate the transition towards a sustainable and efficient use of resources. With the current trend, many metals will not be available anymore in the near future. Consequently, it is essential to work and utilize raw materials from both primary sources and secondary sources, meaning the recovery of materials from waste, as well as to develop new biosustainable materials. It is also pivotal to keep products and materials in the economy as long as possible, minimizing waste in all phases. In short, reuse, repair, repurpose, rebuild and recycle – all aspects of circular economy. Critical raw materials are essential, among other things, to stop climate change because they make up the devices for transitioning from fossil fuels to renewable energies. Education of younger generations plays an important role in addressing these key challenges, equipping students with skills and knowledge necessary to face the climate emergency and biodiversity loss. In this respect, Games and video games are effective in the way they catch the interest of the gamer, whether it is by completing different scenarios, getting to the top of the scoreboard, or telling a captivating story. Gamification takes these aspects, such as feelings of achievement, cooperation, competition and storytelling, and uses it in new contexts, which are not games in themselves. Minecraft is one of the most played video games in the world. It revolves around surviving in an open 3D world by collecting raw materials to create tools and buildings. Mining for metals and minerals is a big part of the game and allows the player to advance in technologies, reaching new environments quicker and more efficiently. It can be altered by players who want to create their own modification or mod to satisfy their imagination by adding new items, blocks or features. The Better Geo mode was developed by programmers, communicators and geologists in order to introduce more realistic geology in Minecraft. Indeed, while the game is undeniably hugely popular and does teach the players something about different raw materials and where they come from, the geology in the game is very simplified and encourages idea of mining being a low-tech field 
built on manual labor and searching for minerals only in deep tunnels underground. The better geo mode adds multiple new rock types, including corresponding ores along with realistic locations in the virtual world. The new rocks are given a realistic stratigraphy with everything from magmatic, metamorphic and sedimentary rocks along with intrusions of different kinds. Even the surface has changed, with soil types now modeled after quaternary deposits of different tills, pebbles, clay, instead of the original soil that was just called dirt. But how does mining work? How do we extract lithium for our smartphones, or iron to build bridges, trains and shopping malls? Do we produce it at home or import from other countries? And how are the working conditions? How does it affect our environment? Why don't we recycle more? To help learn about these conditions, we created Better Yeo Edu, which uses one of the most popular games in the world, Minecraft. Better Yeo Edu has plenty of teaching resources for primary schools that can be used either in the classroom or at home. All materials are available in several different languages and you can choose if you want to teach using computers or without. The tools have been created by educators, scientists and gamers. Everything is freely available and no registration is needed, so you can start learning today. Students' engagement is an important predictor of choosing science-related careers and establishing a scientifically literate society. Studies suggest that learners choose whether to seek a career in science or not as adolescents, and those who report more positive experience with school science are far more likely to continue to pursue science after this age. Due to its pervasive positive influence, fostering student engagement is a prime objective for interventions aimed at improving student outcomes. Thus, with the aim of encouraging an active learning and the sustainable use of raw materials and geology-related topics at school, some students from high schools were involved in using better GeoEdu mod related exercises and in communication of some contents to children at primary and middle schools or to general public during open access events. Students' engagement with society was possible thanks to the link with another European project called Raw Matter Ambassadors at Schools which aims to transform students in science communicators or young RM ambassadors. The learning path was set up by following three steps. During phase one, the knowledge, content and students training were attained with students being introduced to relevant content knowledge on raw materials, rocks and minerals and their uses as well as in the Betagio related educational exercises and the Betagio methodology. During phase two, the plan and collaboration were finalized with students engaged in planning the communication action with society outside of their school and in collaborating with experts for all the organizing aspects. Phase three then consisted in the implementation of the activities out of high schools. During this phase, students acted as tutors during game phases and the execution of the exercises in classes at primary and middle school or during public events. The learning paths implementation consisted in four or five sessions that occurred during three months of 2022 and involved one class from Liceo Righi of Bologna. This strategy aimed at obtaining two results. On the one hand, it offered high school students the opportunity to deal with educational and dissemination aspects related to scientific issues and problems. On the other hand, it provided younger children some reference figures close to their age in which they can identify with. 
The following slides describe the activities tutored by students in schools. The exercise Rocks and Minerals takes the students through six rooms in the virtual world of Minecraft in a special map made for the exercise. The map is filled with instructive signs and in the first three rooms students examine three rocks and sketch them on paper while trying out hardness and other features. To get to the last three rooms, students need to answer some questions about the rocks they just saw. When the students have chosen the right answer, they are presented with a mineral in a display case that they have to sketch and write down the name. When all rooms have been completed, students try to identify real samples of rocks and minerals by comparing them to the sketches and experiments they made during the game. After the exercise, the ambassadors introduce students to the rocks and minerals, to their use and what metals can be extracted from them in the real world. Now, let's see an excerpt from a gaming session of rocks and minerals made by a fifth grade student. Ok, qui c'è una cesta, apro la cesta. Qui c'è un piccolo di legno che ci servirà e sarà fondamentale per la nostra avventura. Apro questa leva. Dobbiamo, ok, siamo in una sala tutta piena di questa roccia. C'è scritto che dobbiamo usare il piccone per rompere una roccia e contare quanti, minu quanti secondi impiegheremo per distruggere questa roccia. Ok, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 secondi per rompere un blocco di gnice. Better Geo Hunt is an exercise that develops orientation skills teaches about the importance of circular economy for our society and improves the students' ability to work in a team. To successfully find the hidden treasure, the teams had to complete an orienteering route and solve various tasks. They had to find points with the help of a map and a compass in the game. The tasks touched every step in the raw material circular economy scheme and, in the end, each team had to answer three questions related to the tasks they performed. During the exercise, the young ambassadors explained and discussed with the students all the different phases of the circular path of raw materials, connected them to the points of the better geohunt path. The concepts of reuse, sharing, repair, refurbishment, remanufacturing and recycling were explained to create closed systems that minimize the consumption of material and energy resources and the generation of waste, pollution and emissions. The use of better geo has proved to be an effective way of interesting children to topics related to raw material exploitation, circular economy and sustainable development. Its use during classroom activities can help teachers and educators when engaging students in discussions around future societal challenges and issues they will face in their adult life. In addition, the involvement of high school students as tutors for younger children is to be welcomed and encouraged with inclusion of such activities in specific after-school programs that are mandatory for Italian school curricula. Thank you for your attention.